Candy's Cooler started 10 years ago and uh, I needed a great ice chest for my raft. Um, my passion has been whitewater rafting for a long time. Oddly enough, um, these types of coolers have roots and flagstaff that go back to the 80s. People here used to hand build them with fiberglass and, and uh, they were used exclusively by the Grand Canyon uh, River companies, which were all of our first clients. We needed to bring it back and we did and we, uh, we tinkered and, and, uh, and grew from there. Between the inner and the outer wall, it's, it's all one piece of plastic. It's extremely durable, and that, that piece of plastic can then contain a really dense, almost explosive foam that we put in there. It's that combination of that kayak plastic and a, a dense polyurethane foam that really gives these coolers the, their heft and their the ability to retain ice. We've had some interesting uses. Uh, we've had some folks out of Colorado that were taking $300,000 ice core samples from the North Pole. Uh, down here to be studied and they needed great ice chests. Uh, we had a, a food service company in Iceland that needed to take warm meals to elderly people and they needed to keep the meals from freezing and they use our ice chests to insulate. Well, even just yesterday, I was looking at our online orders and the Montana Search and Rescue picked up uh, one of our 100 quart coolers. But the, the brand, the terminology, the lifestyle, the imagery that we want to put out there is very Arizona orientated because that's how we're using the coolers and that's these things are adventure ready and adventure rated and uh, I think to some degree we're kind of selling Arizona.